Hey, what's up everyone? Delvon Digital here, and I'm really excited to talk about the OnePlus Open. This is a foldable that a lot of creators claim to be the best foldable on the market, and I finally got my hands on one. So I'm not going to waste anybody's time. I'm going to go ahead and give you my experience on using the OnePlus Open. First thing I want to talk about is the software. The software is one of the things I do not like about this device. It's a little buggy, animations are a little broken, and sometimes apps and widgets just don't work properly when you're rotating a device or turning it. And I just find it to be a little bit chromosome compared to other competitors out there when it comes to the software. But do I love the software UI and the elements that they provide? Yes, the customizations and everything is phenomenal that they provide i just need them to optimize the software just a little bit better to just give you a better fuller experience like competitors are doing now and can you use this device as a daily device every day sure it has its little hiccups but i don't think it's terrible to a point but it's noticeable for a person like me who has multiple devices and I can pick up one device and kind of compare it to the other device and can I can see the shortcomings and the downfalls of that. But then it also has a lot of great strengths within the software. And those are the things that I really love. While I don't have much bad to say about the software besides the bugs and the broken animations and some other things, that's about it. But overall, it's a great experience. It's that stock UI element mixed in with a little bit of OnePlus mixed in with a little bit of iOS mixed in with a little bit of Samsung. I can I can kind of feel like a lot of different OSs was kind of like put into this. That's what it feels like, at least to me. And I like it. I like the element that blends all that together and stuff like that. It makes a really good, clean, nice looking UI. I really, I really dig it. Sorry to interrupt this video, but just in case you didn't know, Delvon Digital makes his own custom wallpapers. All my wallpapers will be shown in my videos that you've been watching on this channel. So if you really want to support me, go ahead and hit that link down in the description below and go grab you some nice wallpapers. I mean, these things are dope. I do give all my supporters the Delvon Digital exclusive color and in my custom wallpaper packs there are 15 more colors just for you so what you waiting for go ahead and pause this video hit that link and go get you some wallpapers and come on right back and finish this up but anyways let's get back to the video now one of my favorite things about this device is the screen ratio i actually kind of fell in love with it at first i wanted to hate it because it's just that long look again not long as like other competitors out there but it gives you that natural phone pretty much feel that you pretty much love and that you're accustomed to already and everything like that so i just wanted to you know really kind of like hate it because i got used to using another device that had a much smaller display much wider display and it was very comfortable with using it with one hand and i'm quite frankly tired of these really long phones 6.7 inches but they keep on putting all the best features into the bigger models and not the smaller models which forces me the type of user that i am to always buy the bigger model i'm okay with a 6.1 inch screen or 6.3 just something more smaller but companies aren't doing that so therefore i'm stuck with using the best of the best that they offer because i want all of that stuff in a smaller body but i just can't get it so frankly i didn't like the one plus ratio especially the outside of the screen because i really didn't like that long look but you know i've been using slab phones for a long time and i've been dealing with it so i just got used to it again and it was okay now what i really don't like is the inside square screen i'm really not a big fan of the square ratio compared to a landscape ratio when you open it up but easy fix is to rotate the device so it's not a real big issue i'm not going to sit there and make it a, a complaint because I feel like everyone is going to move to this ratio and if they do then it's just something that you know us as consumers as myself is going to have to get used to using again all over and it's all it's okay it's fine i'll just rotate it you know <laughs> and use it in the landscape which is the better way anyways because you want a phone to open up into a tablet not phone open up into a bigger phone now one of the things i'm very surprised about is the crease i mean this crease doesn't look like it's a crease there like whatever oneplus did like the hardware on this is incredible you barely can feel it you barely can see it and when i unfold it it just feels like a straight slab of glass with no dents or any curves or anything it just feels really good when using the device i want to give them a big shout out for this hardware this hardware is probably the best hardware i've used in a foldable today this is incredibly good oneplus has a crease that you actually gotta fight with the light to try to see it while everyone else you gotta try to fight with the light to try not to see it 
it. You get what I mean? Now I want to touch up on performance a little bit. I want to say that the Snapdragon Gen 2 that's in here is really, really awesome. It performs really good. I have no hiccups or any issues with it. It's accompanied by 16 gigs of RAM. So yeah, I mean, it's a phone that actually performs pretty well. I haven't had any hiccups or any apps taking forever to load or anything like that. For the most part, this phone has been breezing through everything, obviously due to that Snapdragon Gen 2. So no issues in performance department. I don't play many games, so I cannot show you any testing on games or anything like that. I play actually one game called Amaze and is not a heavy game. You can probably play this on any cheap Android phone or any cheap phone out there, period, in general, and it still run phenomenal. So uh, with that being said, I haven't really done any true testing of that but for my day-to-day -day usage editing photos taking phone calls open up apps and you know stuff like that this phone has been breezing through it and for the most part most phones do breeze through the tasks that i do every day i'm not a demanding user i'm pretty light with my usage with everything and i want to say the oneplus open handles my business just well now one of the things about this phone is when i first saw it online the renders of it i thought it was really ugly but i did like the green color that they were offering but i was like i don't know about that camera well it's just like it's so intruding it just doesn't look right but eventually it grew on me so as time went by i grown to love this device the design the color the camera bump the squared off look everything about it is just really premium feeling and premium looking and it's very very light and i really love that about this device this is the first foldable that actually feels like a regular phone in your hand as well as how light it is and the design is really unique well, I guess not in our market, it's unique. In the US market, it's unique. In other markets, I see everyone else is also doing this design. But yeah, in the US market, this is a very unique approach. It's something different. It actually makes you feel like you have a very expensive camera in your hand when using this thing. And it's a really beautiful phone, the color, everything about it. And I really love the design. And one of my favorite features about this device is the alert slider. I love that I can slide it down from silent to ring to vibrate or whatever I choose. It's always been a really great hardware addition to a phone. And I wish that other phones actually had it as well. But until then, I guess OnePlus will be the king of that right now. Now this part of the video is normally where I go ahead and talk about the camera of it. But I decided to do a second video talking about just the camera. One thing I wanna say is that I really do enjoy this camera and it's a really good camera so i kind of want to go into real details and kind of talking about the camera experience as well while showing you some samples and shooting around with it so you can kind of get a feel of what the camera is really capable of doing especially in a photographer's hand versus just a normal creator who's just pointing and shooting and stuff like that so therefore if you want to see the camera review it will be up after this video is out so just be on the lookout for that video now i've been using this device for a little bit over two weeks and i want to say for my usage as always and i always say this on my channel about most of all the phones that I use, that battery life is good. It gives me all day battery. And man, let me tell you something. This thing charges extremely fast. This is the fastest device in here. Well, the second fastest device in here that charges because my Pocket 3 that I'm shooting on right now charges faster than the OnePlus. Obviously, the battery is a little bit smaller, but it charges this device to 80 something percent in about 15 minutes. That is insanely crazy. Now, the burning question is that a lot of people want to know if I think that this is the best photo book on the market. Well, what I'm going to say is that I don't think that this is the best photo book on the market. I don't think that any photo book is the best photo book on the market. I think that everyone has a preference and whatever your preference is, that becomes your best photo book on the market based off your needs, your demands and your wants. But the OnePlus Open is a very compelling photo book. So if you're out here looking for that best foldable, I think that you should do your research and look around and see what your needs are, what your demands are inside a foldable, and then therefore you can choose which one you think is the best foldable on the market. From software, to ratio, to crease, to performance, to design, to battery life, and camera. There's a lot of things that you have to take into account when you're looking for a foldable. If this one suits your needs, then it's definitely the best foldable on the market for you. So I don't want to go out here and claim that the OnePlus Open is the best foldable on the market. I want to say that is a good foldable in a competing market. And I think that you should take your time and choose what works best for you. There are so many good options out here in the foldable market right now. With that being said, I really enjoyed this phone. And most of all, I hope that you enjoyed this video. This is Delvon Digital, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace, everyone.